shit. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> My pussy, da da. Alright, so boom. I know I got that all fucked up, but listen. Your boy is stuck in the studio, quarantining, because I tested positive for COVID. So Julie and I can't record any content at the moment. So I figured, I'm always talking about the Bronx and stuff, right? Let me just give you a story about <laughs> a time where I got beat the fuck up in the Bronx. So, um, let's do it, right? I know y'all probably like, what? That's so fucking red. <laughs> like, this is an anime channel, and I'm over here talking about how I got beat the fuck up in the Bronx. But, hey, man, there's a lesson behind it. <laughs> right? So, check it out. So, I'm from the Bronx, New York. <clears throat> More specifically, I was born uh, in Lincoln Hospital in uh, 145th. <clears throat> so, I'm from... Patterson Projects. I kind of grew up around the Patterson Projects. At least early on in the Bronx. Like, I was all over the South Bronx, but um, I had a stint where I lived in the Patterson Projects for mad long because my grandmother lived there, my cousin lived there. Um, you know, I had family live there, live, that lived there. So what happened was, um, you know, I was in forced to care because uh, my dad, like, I, you know, I did some, I don't even remember what it was that I did. I did something, got my ass whooped with the belt. I got hit by a car, um, and when I got hit by the car, uh, you know, when the, the you know EMTs is like examining me and shit like that, they saw that I had like belt marks and shit like that, like scars, you know what I mean, from getting beat by my father. I know that just sounds bad personal, but we're, don't worry about it. We'll like we'll we'll get to a we'll get to it. <clears throat> so I ended up getting taken from my parents and. Uh, put in foster care and uh they were kind enough to let us stay with my grandmother versus uh like so we stayed with strangers at first but then they sent us to my grandmother's because my grandmother was like yo I'll, I'll keep them so um you know i was very thankful for that because i knew my grandmother you know what i mean so my first week there right so i'll show you where, I, where i'm from right so this is where I'm from, <clears throat> 145th Street, 3rd Avenue. I used to go to the Sea Town all the time. So like, I don't know how to do this street view shit, but this is where I grew up for a majority of the time that I was in the Bronx. So um, we lived right in here. So like when you came in, you came in right through here. And uh, I was like right along this area in the first floor. That's where my grandmother lived, right? And then down here, there's a school that I went to for literally about a week or so. I wasn't in that school for very long. Um, I ended up having to leave that school because of the story that I'm telling you about, right? So I was like a hothead, had a chip on my shoulder, you know what I'm saying? Like, had this, you know, you know, my dad is this big, tough dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, you know, I'm tough too, right? So I considered myself a, like a bully. And, uh, you know, I went to the school thinking I was hot shit, right? I was like nine, 10, something like that. I wasn't like, I wasn't uh, like, how can I explain it? I wasn't older. Like I was like under 10. I was either 10 or under. So I go to the school here, PS18. The schools that I went to was CS47. That was the school that I like went to. But you know, we traveled. We not traveled, but we moved a lot in the Bronx because of my parents' relationship and shit like that. So, you know, I was always in the South Bronx, but it was different schools in the South Bronx. Um, the, the school that I graduated from was 22. Uh, is it CES 22? I think it's called, and that's all the way on the other side, but it's still in the South Bronx. Uh, but that's the school that I graduated from. I did 7th and 8th grade there. But that should tell you, like, every every year and a half, I was in a different school. But anyway, I digress, right? So I was in this school here, and uh, I'm coming out. And bef be this wasn't a uh, baseball field when I went there. Like, <laughs> it was a long-ass time ago. But this wasn't a baseball field when I went. Um, <clears throat> 
excuse me so since this wasn't a baseball field this was an open like the bronx has a lot of like con or had a lot of concrete playgrounds with nothing in it so there was nothing here it was just a slab of concrete uh i don't even remember if there was like basketball hoops there might have been basketball hoops but i don't remember it was so long ago when this happened um and i ended up never going back to this fucking playground again the crazy thing is is so like this i lived right here and right here was this place called tony's gym and this is where my love for, for wrestling came the whole area was covered in mats uh we was like slamming each other he had like 15 um like different uh like it had like he had nintendo he had sega he had different consoles uh so you could just come in there and play whatever you wanted um it was fun as hell in tony's gym but i never crossed the street and went in here i don't know what happened to tony uh i don't know if he's still alive or whatever happened there I don't even know if you're like if you're from the Bronx where I'm from. I don't know if you remember Tony's gym, but if you were a kid and you lived in this area, you knew Tony's gym had all the fly shit in there. But anyway, so I come out to school, right? So you see the school is here and you could cut through here. You could cut through this area to get home, right? So like I said, I've only been to the school for like a week or so, maybe even less than a week. Um, I came out and uh <laughs> This kid had like bumped me or some shit like that. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but this kid had bumped me. Um, <clears throat> and uh, how do I get rid of this shit? There we go. This kid had bumped me and I clearly overreacted and took it way too far because I was trying to like, you know, show that I'm like this big buff, like, ugh, even though I was this small, big headed kid. So. I forgot what he said to me. You could tell the kid didn't want any smoke. He didn't want nothing to do with me. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was just like, like, I, you know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to fuck off. And I was like, nah, son, you won't fucking catch these hands. Like, we didn't say that back in the day. But just so you have an idea, I was like, nah, nigga, take your bag off. I'm a gangster. La, 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 la. I was going ape shit, right? So I'm running my mouth to this kid. And he's steady trying to leave. And I, sh I should have let him fucking leave. But there was a lesson in this. So uh, I'm, I rip off his backpack. I take my backpack off. And uh, I start kicking his ass. Now, when I say I start kicking his ass, I don't mean like, you know, bloody. Uh, uh, you know, like as a kid, we was wrestling. Like we was tussling. Like, I, you know, I was throwing him. And he was, you know, grabbing my shirt and shit like that, right? So as this is happening, I guess like you ever played like Gears of War or something like that where it's like press Y to focus on an object. There's this kid and I see him. So we're like fighting like right here. There's a kid that's walking from here all the way in to here. And I'm watching him as I'm like wrestling with this kid because uh, we didn't throw punches <laughs> or at least I didn't throw punches back at this time. Like there was no punches thrown. And I'm watching him walk in with a purpose. Like he had a, he didn't look at me. He just walked in with a purpose. And he came into this fucking, this yard. And he grabbed me and he beat the shit out of me, bro. That kid whooped my fucking ass, bro. That was the first and only fight I lost in my entire life. Like one-on-one -on -one fight. That's the only fight that I've lost in my entire life. I've gotten to a lot of fights, bro. I've been jumped, um, you know. It's, it's, you know, it was, I got into a lot of shit in the Bronx. And I feel like anybody that's from the Bronx probably had that same sort of experience. Unless, like, you, I don't know, you dodged a bullet. But, bro, I got into a lot of fights. And this one was my fault. But the other ones, the majority of them were not my fault. Because after this, I didn't start trouble or problems with anybody else. But anyway, he beat the, like, dragged me through this whole fucking playground, dog. Um... And then I get up, right? I get up like, oh fuck this, right? Cause I tried to fight him and I just could not fight him. He was he like he was just too fucking I don't know what it was about this kid, but he was just too strong, too fast, too like nimble. I there was nothing I could do. I like I don't even want to say like I was tired or nothing like that. Like he just whooped my fucking ass. Um anyway, so I uh <laughs> I grab my backpack and try to put it on and I'm like walking away like <laughs> I'm walking away like, yeah, nigga, fuck you. Yeah, you a bitch. Like, <laughs> talking crazy shit with my backpack on. And he fucking grabs my backpack and throws me back to the ground. And he starts fucking me up some more. <laughs> this kid whooped my fucking ass, bro. 
So now, we both live in Patterson Projects. He lived in Patterson Projects. I live in Patterson Projects. Like, we both live in Patterson. I lived here, and I think he lived, like, over here or, like, over here. It was one of the two because I never saw him because, you know, when you come out, I come out at the Third Avenue is right here, right? So when I came out, I never had to go this way. There was no need for me to go this way for anything. Because um, even when I came out to go to the park that was across the street here, um, I would just come out here. And then cross the street. So there was no need for me to ever go this way or this way, right? After that day, my grandmother put me, she was like, You're not gonna be coming over here and get your ass whooped. <laughs> so, there was a karate school that used to be over here, somewhere over here. There was a karate school. And she put me in karate. And I did karate for a little bit. She was like, You need to learn how to defend yourself. You're not gonna be getting your ass whooped at, and all this other shit, right? So, that was the story of like when I got my ass whooped. So, uh, you know, I lived here for a little bit. I started venturing out more and more around the area. And then I started getting into more fights. I ended up moving from out of here. Um, and my parents got custody of us. We moved to Georgia. I ended up getting into fights in Georgia. And then um, because I was too like street and too north for the south, right? So I was just getting into fights there. And then we moved back to the Bronx. And when we moved to the Bronx, we moved to 167th Street and uh, Teller Avenue. Well, yeah, it was Teller Avenue. So it was like all the way down the block. Um, or was it 169? I think it was 169 in Teller. Yeah, 169 in Teller. So then I went to 22. Um, uh, so when I was at, when I was over at 169th, and tell her I used to come back over here a lot because my grandmother was still alive um, fun fact I had my first kiss over here but um, my grandmother was still alive at the time so you know I would always come back to this area now mind you I've been all over the Bronx at this point I've been uh, not I, I'm not gonna say all over the world but I've been in different schools like every year to year and a half I was in a different school meeting different people fighting different people um, and like I said, we would, I would fight for like various reasons. Like I have like, if you ever meet me, I'll show you. I have like scars on my hands from like different fights I was in. Um, cause I had this thing where I like to punch people in the teeth. It's stupid. We'll talk about it another day, but I love punching people in the teeth. So I have scars from punching people in the teeth. But anyway, um, it's the dumbest shit ever. Don't fucking, don't try to rationalize it. I can't rationalize it. That's just what I did. Uh, but anyway, I came back here and the roles were reversed. So I, I, I went from this point forward, I never threw the first hit. I never bullied anybody. Um, you know, let me not say never. I probably did throw the first hit at one point, but um, I wasn't a bully anymore. Like I wasn't looking for like, yeah, I need to fucking show myself because like it just always found me. So um, <clears throat> I came back here and the dude, I don't want to say his name because I don't know if <laughs> like I don't want to cause no problems, but uh I saw him again. Now, I'm like 16. I'm like real deep, like deep in the streets at this point. Um, it's, and it wasn't like what it is now. Like the streets of the Bronx now is nowhere near what it was when I was growing up. Um, it was bad, but it wasn't like oof, what it is now is crazy. But anyway, um, I came back and I came, I was walking through here to go see my grandmother and dude was sitting right here. So people put their garbage here. Uh, right here they put their garbage so there's a gate like you can walk in and then there's a gate here and then the garbage here and then you walk through here he was chilling on the gate so the only way for me to get past is to you know go through him um, like I said I'm 16 now and nigga I'm petty as fuck so I see him and I'm like I'm I'm like wishing deep down in my soul I'm like bro please please say something crazy to me Say something. I've been waiting for this, right? So, um, I forgot what he said, but he like stepped, he, like he, you know how, you know how, if you're from anywhere that's crazy, you know when you're about to get robbed, right? Somebody, you know, they, they come out acting all weird, they get behind you acting all weird, or they're in front of you acting weird, or like they kind of get in your way, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, if you've been in that situation, you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm walking through 
And in the Bronx, if you looking at somebody in the eye, you got to maintain eye contact. Otherwise, you a bitch, at least when I was there. Um, I don't know what it's like now. I haven't been there in a while. Um, but yeah, so I'm like maintaining eye contact with him because he's like looking me dead in my face. So I try to like walk by him and he put his foot out and like put his hand on my chest. Like, yo, where you going, son? Right. Um, I don't know if he remembered. I don't know if he forgot. Well, at this point, um, I don't know if he remembered or not. Or if he remembered me because I'd been gone for a few years at this point, I had been gone from this area. Um, so like I've been back and forth, but we never like crossed paths. So, but I didn't live in the area anymore. So he didn't see me every day. You know what I mean? So, um, even after he like fucked me up, I didn't see him again. Right? Like, nigga vanished. Um, but anyway, so he like puts his hand on my chest. Yo, where you going, son? I'm like, yo, I'm going to the fucking building. Like, uh, you can you can hear it in my voice that I was like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I was ready. Cause like, if if I didn't want if I didn't want any smoke, I'd have been like, oh nah, you know, I'm just gonna go see my grandmother. I don't want no problems. Like, you know what I mean? Like, put my hands up or something like that. Not look at him, look away. You know what I mean? Like, something or go around, which um, you can't go around. To go around, you have to go through here. And then you got to deal with like everybody else to get here. So when you get off the train, the train is all the way over here. So you got to come down and then in here. Right. So there was there's no point for me to go all the way around. So I had to go this way. You know what I'm saying? Any other way was just extra fucking long. And I just wasn't going to do that. And I wasn't jumping no gate to get over. So it is what it is. So I was like, I'm going to go see my fucking grandmother. <laughs> like some shit like that. I'm going to go see my grandmother. Like I had mad bass in my voice. He was like, yo, who you talking to, son? And in my brain, I'm like, this is what I needed. This is what I needed right here. And I was like, I'm talking to you. <laughs> and then he had his boys there, but a few of them was my boys too. So they knew me, you know what I'm saying? And they, they knew my grandmother. My grandmother always used to come to the sea town that's across the street. You know what I'm saying? They get her little, her pork cracklings and her fucking... Pepsi Cola is what she called it, right across the street. So they knew who my grandmother was, and they knew me, right? But he, I guess, you know, at the, in that moment. So I'm talking to you, son. And he's like, nah, you ain't talking to me. And he grabs my fucking <laughs> my jacket like this. It was <laughs> woo! curtains, curtains, bro. When I say revenge was fucking swift, nigga. And then at that point, we was throwing fists like there, like there was no like. Like, sure, there's tussling and shit, but we was throwing fists at this point. And I fucking hit him smooth across the face. Boop! I was known for uh, whenever I did hit somebody, it was quick. Like, my jab was like, wow! You never really saw it. Even, like, when, when people was with me, they never got it. They was like, oh, shit. Like, you never knew. It was like, it was just, boop! It's not like that. Now I'm old and fucking slow. But before, my hands could be down here, and I was just, wow! And you would <laughs> just get hit with that shit. So I hit him smooth across the face. And he hit me back, and then we just start boxing, boof, 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 boof. Um, and then I ended up, I ended up winning that fight. Um, and I threw his ass in the, gar the garbage. Is, that's why I made the point about the garbage, because the garbage is usually right there. And I just took him, threw him in the garbage, and we start fighting in the garbage. Like it, it was so fucking stupid. So um, they break us up. And when they break us up, I was like, I told you I'm going to my fucking grandmother's house. I start crying and shit. Ah, I'm going to my grandmother's house. What the fuck? Ah. I just start like, I was soft as shit, bro. I was softer than a motherfucker back in the day. But anyway, um, I go in the house. You know, I get cleaned up. I get showered up. Uh, all the homies is dapping me up because he was known for fucking people up in the, in, you know, over there in the projects. Um... They was all dapping me up and shit, like, yeah, you, you, you whoop that nigga's ass. Uh. So I see him later. Um, it was a while later. I saw him a long time after that. Not, it wasn't like a year or so, but it was like months. I saw him again after. Uh, and when I saw him, instead of fighting, we like talked. And I was like, yo, you remember when you fucked me up at the, at the park? He was like, damn, that was you? This nigga didn't even remember me, bro. He remembered whooping somebody's ass, but he fought so much that he didn't even put a face to the to the to the ass whooping. He just remembered, like, yeah, I remember I beat some kid's ass in the park that was beating up somebody else. 
Come to find out that was his man. Um, I was beating up his man. It was either his man or his cousin or some shit like that. And I was beating up his, his cousin and he didn't like that shit. So he came in like he saw me like they were supposed to meet and then walk home together. And I stopped him because um, he didn't go to this school. He went to a different school, I believe. I think he went to um, I think he went to this school. There's a school over here. Uh, where am I at? There's a school. Like, yeah. No. There's a school somewhere. Yeah, I think this is it right here. Um, I can't remember. But he didn't go to this school. So they were supposed to meet here and then walk back home. So he was coming from up here to get him. And that's why he came into the to the gate and just, like, destroyed me. So he was like, yeah. Nah, I remember, I remember beating some kid ass. But I didn't know it was you. And uh, not that it had made a difference, I'm sure. He probably, he, like, I'm sure he wouldn't have thought twice. He probably, it probably would have gave him a fucking buff because he's like, oh, I already beat this kid before. I'm going to beat him again, right, Pause. But, yeah, man, so that's the story of, like, <laughs> how I got my ass whooped in the Bronx, bro. Like, I got fucking, when I say he kicked my ass, bro, like, I had, like, scrapes and I was all fucked up. <laughs> he kicked my ass, but, man, I got stories for days, especially for this area, man, like, I spent a lot of time in this area, um, but like shit didn't start getting real. Like when I say real, I mean real. Shit didn't start getting real until I moved to Teller Avenue in 169. When I got to 169 and like Sheridan and all that shit, that's when shit got fucking crazy, bro. Um, like, you know, typical Bronx shit. But yeah, man, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm just trying to give you guys some content. Um, if you see this video and you're recommended and, you know, you see it in, in, in other, um, areas and then you click my channel and see that it's just an anime channel, <laughs> keep in mind that this was just a, a video to keep you guys satiated. And so I beat this COVID shit, um, and that Julie and I can get back to recording. But if you like these stories, let me know. And I'll... <laughs> I have no problem like it's hard for me to be embarrassed you know what i'm saying so i have no problem doing another story of um me getting my ass whooped or other fights that i've been into or like you know interactions with the law and all that stuff like you know typical hood shit so times i got robbed i got robbed so much uh but anyway <laughs> it made me the person i am today right um, and I, I'm grateful for those experiences, by the way, because like without them, like, you know, I feel like I would be a pushover and I'm just not a pushover. I know what I want. I know what I want to do and I'm going to do it. Right. So um, I don't appreciate the people that did it, but I appreciate the experiences. Right. So if you like this videos, like, let me know. I'll do more videos like this. I have no problem doing videos like this because um, I like telling stories. But hopefully you enjoyed <laughs> hopefully you got a kick out of it and uh you know helped you waste some time you know and uh don't forget to like subscribe hit the house bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos check out our patreon and uh see you in the next one what the fuck is this shit Thank <laughs> you.